Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'll be attempting to restore a Husky Toys Aveling Barford dump truck. Husky Toys was a brand introduced in 1964 by the Matoy Playcraft Limited company. They were designed to compete with the Matchbox series and originally were sold only at Woolworths. I can't find much info on the individual models, there's no wiki or anything, but I believe this dump truck was released in about 1965. Taking a closer look at it, we can see that the main problem is the broken plow at the front. Also, the paint job is fairly chipped and will need to be redone. Aveling Barford was a heavy machinery engineering company. It was founded in 1934 in Grantham in Lincolnshire and I think they went defunct in 1988. I start by drilling out the rivet posts so that I can take the truck apart. They are very small rivet posts. I don't have anything small enough to tap and drill them. This plastic has become really, really brittle and weak with age, so even though I'm trying to be very gentle taking the base off, it still did break at the front slightly. The whole truck is held together by the plastic base, so with that removed it all comes apart quite easily. After using some hot water and caustic soda to remove most of the chrome from the base, I cut out a small piece of styrene in the shape of the broken section. I used some super glue to glue this in place. I next build it up with some tamiya putty. This is left to cure for 24 hours. I use my needle files and some sandpaper to smooth up the repair and shape it. After my initial shaping session, there's still a few pits at the back here, so I fill them with a little more putty and allow it to cure. This is then filed and sanded smooth again. I use some epoxy putty to fix the little broken part at the front. The front of the plough section is given a coat of fine white primer, allowed to dry and then sanded smooth. Grey primer would have actually been better for this job but I'd run out. Next as a base for the chrome that I'm going to paint on the base, I paint it black. I notice that there's still a couple of little pits in the front of the plough blade. So I fill these with a tiny amount of Tamiya putty. This is then sanded down and re-spray painted black. That's looking a lot smoother. The base and plow are then painted with Vallejo metal color chrome and then given a nice coat of clear. The suspension system on this little husky truck is actually a couple of tubes of rubber. So I've never seen this system before. I pop these out before I strip the parts.
With the paint removed, I clean up the castings and remove the oxidation with a wire brush on my rotary tool. Taking a quick look at the castings, you can see that they're quite nice and detailed and clean. Probably as nice as any matchbox things I have seen from the same period. I paint the body parts with straight red and yellow. They both get a couple of coats straight over the metal as I wanted to try and get a more original look. They are then given a coat of clear to protect the paint. All of the wheels except for one were in great condition. I started by giving them a quick wash in some soapy water and then used my scalpel to tidy up this little beaten up area on one of the front wheels. Luckily it's on the inside of the wheel and not so noticeable when you're looking at the truck. I cleaned up the ends of the axles with a little bit of sandpaper as well. So here are our parts painted and repaired and ready to be put back together. First of all I put back in the suspension tubes. Next the wheels and axles. The tipper bucket. I mix up some clear epoxy adhesive and use this to attach the base. As the base is actually really quite brittle and delicate, I ended up putting it on off camera. Finally, I used some tiny balls of epoxy putty to make some faux rivets for the base of the truck. I use a small watch tool to press in the balls of putty. Once these have cured, I give them a quick dab of yellow paint. Before we take a look at our finished truck, let's take a moment to be reminded of what we started with. A fairly scruffy looking husky Aveling Barford dump truck. Although most of the wheels were in pretty good condition, the paint job was very chipped and worn out and the plough at the front had a very big obvious piece cracked out of it. And here is our little husky dump truck after a tidy up. It's looking nice and tidy again with a shiny new paint job. And it will be ready to get back to work, ploughing and dumping with its newly repaired blade. I hope you enjoyed this restoration. Maybe some of you owned this toy as a child. It was a new one for me, but it's been sitting around in my collection of damaged cards for a couple of months, and I thought it was worthy of a tidy up. Now it'll look quite nice on my display shelf. If anyone has any memories or stories of husky toys when they were kids, it'd be great if you told them in the comments. 
before I go, I'll just say welcome to all my new subscribers and a massive thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes, etc. on my videos. Thanks heaps. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.